This one is something everyone loves to see. Petrol versus electric. On my right is the fastest locally manufactured petrol scooter. And on my left is the fastest electric scooter. Now theoretically, the electric Ola should be able to beat the Aerox off the line. But will the Aerox be able to beat the Ola at the finish line? Let's find out. Theory, however, doesn't always work out in the real world. And in cases like this one, the results can be quite different to what you expect. For example, the Yamaha Aerox uses a similar engine to the Yamaha R15, so you would expect it to be a speed queen, while on the other hand, you'd probably expect the Ola to have that super quick, low speed acceleration that most EVs pack. Is that actually how it pans out though? Well, the first surprise is that the Yamaha is actually a little quicker off the line than the Ola, although it doesn't launch as hard as the Aether 450X. However, the Ola soon claws back the lead in just a few seconds, and that's when it's all over for the Yamaha. The Ola goes on to build a big lead and it smashes the Aerox at the finish line, beating the petrol scooter by over two seconds. As with all our drag races, we swapped the riders and ran the race again to make sure that there's no unfairness down to rider skill or rider weight. This time, the Aerox got a better start, but once again, the Ola catches it well before the halfway mark and then simply pulls away. The difference at the finish line isn't so big this time around and the Yamaha doesn't take such a solid beating, but once again, the Ola takes the clear win. At the end of the day, the Yamaha Aerox put up less of a fight than most of us expected and we can now conclusively crown the Ola S1 Pro as the fastest locally manufactured scooter in India. But there is one scooter that is much faster than this and in fact, it's so quick that we decided to put it up against a 300cc motorcycle in our next race. That will be an interesting one for sure.